This year, due to obvious special circumstances, I had to rethink my Halloween machine. To limit the spread of germs, the end goal was to make a contact-free candy dispenser. I opted for an elevator design. The first thing to do was to decide on a candy bar and the angle of the lift. For that, I used a Spirit Level app on my phone and two candy bars. And my very scientific research concluded that uh, the Snickers bars have the lowest angle of overcoming friction at 13 to 17 degrees, compared to 20 degrees minimum for Twix and a whopping 25 degrees for milk chocolate. Snickers also has the advantage that it's the world's most sold candy bar, and the blocky design means that the ends of the bar don't get snagged on anything. And just to make it clear, I am not sponsored by Snickers. Not that I think they'd uh, sponsor a channel with shy over 100 subscribers. But still. This is my work in progress machine, though right now it's being held together mostly with tape and putty. And you have the motor down here, and eventually the circuitry will go down here. And then I got the magazine of Snickers, it's all connected right now up to the circuit that I have on a breadboard up here. How it works is you uh, hover your hand over the sensor for five seconds, and then it starts. And then that starts the motor. And it, uh, it senses when uh, this micro switch here is uh, pressed. And that's how it knows how it's dispensed a candy bar. I experimented a bit with live streaming the soldering of the board, which is what you see as a time lapse here in the background. And while that's going on, I might as well share some of the specs. The microcontroller I used was an 80 tiny 1604 plus an IO extender. It uses the DF player mini and a small speaker for the sound effects. The plastic parts inside the case are all 3D printed. Due to the high quiescent current draw of the MP3 player and the L293D motor controller, I'm turning those features on and off with a P-channel MOSFET. The IR sensor checks every second for hands and remains in sleep mode most of the time to save power. The system is powered by a sealed 12V lead-acid battery for the LEDs and the motor, and uses an LDO for the low voltage parts. To make it a bit more visible, I also created a portable lamp with a motion detector that would turn on when the kids walked by the machine. Here's how it works. When you get close to it, the lamps will start up, showing the kind of machine. As the instructions say, you first hold your hand uh, underneath the red arrow without uh, touching the machine, and then you just leave the hand there and the candy will fall directly into your hand. So you hold it under here, wait five seconds, Now it starts. Okay, so at this point I'm actually gonna get two. But uh, I don't think the kids would mind that, if, that they get uh, two from time to time. Taking a look inside, it's uh, just the Snickers and they're stacked upon the sled that's uh, raised by this motor down here. And this is where I have the microcontroller and everything. So I have this uh, button uh, when I want to reset the sled. Push this button and this moves the sled down. And then push it again to stop it. And then I have this uh, dedicated bowl and glove for refilling it. So all you gotta do is uh, stack it up again. There we go. That's what it looks like. <laughs> 